What we're going to do today is we are going to take some ribbon that I took off the bolt. If you go through the store and look around, you'll see bolts of ribbon that look like this. We have this marked this year at $29.99 a bolt. 50-yard bolt. You can either buy it by the yard or the bolt. Double wired, weatherproof, waterproof, everything. Um, I've got some ribbons that I've used two and three years over. Never faded. All I do is fluff them back up. Works every time. We're going to take this and we're going to do a traditional, as I call it, a Macy's wrapping the box package. We're going to take a piece of geo mesh, and we've got this in small and large rolls inside for the fall. I'm going to take this and I'm going to lay the straw bale down just like this. And we are just simply going to tie just a little, just a knot in it basically, just like that. Then I am going to bring in, that's what it looks like. Little tube top or bikini top, if you're looking at it that way. <laughs> We're going to tie that. We are going to take this. If you've ever done a Macy's package, we're going to take this ribbon, and I've cut just an extra long length. We're going to wrap it, and then we're going to bring it behind. I'll flip it over so you can see it. We're going to simply do a crisscross in the back. Flip it back over just like you would to a normal package, and we are going to tie this, if I can figure out how to tie it a little knot, just like that. Now, if you want, and you want to do it really simple, you can do just a shoestring bow. And the great thing with this wired ribbon is a shoestring bow just looks as pretty as a regular bow. So you can do something really, really simple and make it very, very elegant looking and easy to do. Do that. Take this and crumple it up just like that. And you have a cute little, kind of like a gift wrap package. Now what we're going to do on that is I'm going to come in here with a bow that I've already pre-tied. If you like pre-tied bows, if you don't want to tie your bow, come in and we'll tie your bows for you. No extra charge for you. $7.99 for a bow this size, smaller down or $5.99. We'll be happy to tie you as many bows as you need. And we're going to flip this ribbon, take the wire and go right underneath this ribbon. And if I get my big fat fingers under there, we are going to tie this off. Bring your ribbon in, pull it just as tight as you can. And I'm going to leave that fluffed up just like that. I'm going to bring in some of these really cool maple leaves. We brought these back in. We brought the first batch in. And we sold out of them. They are, let's see if I can find the price, $11.99. This is the company that makes all of our sunflower picks and things like that. These are all hand-wrapped silk. They're great because if you want to cut this or pull it apart, you don't have to take the clippers and cut it. You can just literally sit there and peel them down. They're, they're hand-wrapped. You'll get about six or seven cuts out of this. All I'm going to do is take this, since it's straw, and I say it's easy, and now you watch and I won't be able to get it in here. We're going to take this and we're going to simply poke that down and bend it down in here, just like that. I'm going to take one more, and I'm going to take it right on the opposite side of it, and just take it and push it down in there. If you've been to my other workshops, I don't like cutting the stems because I never know if I'm going to use them on something else the next season or for something else later on. So if you don't cut your stems, just bend them back and use them for whatever. Now we've plucked out the little leaves and we've made them and you can take this and kind of bend it down. A lot of people when you buy these picks, they will look just like this. They're pretty like this, but you can make them so much more. Take and literally pull them down and pull them apart and you can get a really good size fan out of these and just take it and fluff it up give it a good shake and pull out all your leaves and see that's the difference between that one and this one you get a lot a lot of bang for your buck out of that one so um, now as you remembered we left the bow all bunched up so we're going to come in here and we're going to start pulling the bow out since it's wired it's going to take on any shape you want it to and we're going to fluff that out and on the streamers, I leave extra long streamers when I'm doing a project like this. I like that movement in the wind. If this is outside, you'll see those tails moving in the wind. I think it's kind of cool. Um, on the table, it will give you extra length and volume on the table. We're going to take these runners and we're going to pull them right down through where we put the leaf fix. And pull another one over there out. And here's a little palm we need to fluff out. Just like that. And... We have a gift wrap little bale that's really, really cute. 